Welcome back everyone. This is the final battle. We are battling Wallace and this is it. This is it. The final battle. We'll see who can most elegantly dance. Okay. Now it looks like Wallace with the cape sends out Whale Lord, level 57. Level 57, which is pretty high, considering Blaziken is only 58. Inferno is not that much too powerful. But Lightning can easily pull through, and we'll see exactly how much damage this will deal. And it deals about half damage, a little more. See that water spout? Didn't do much because Whale Lord just got half his HP electrified away. And Whale Lord's out. Two hit KO. And it looks like 2,550. I wonder why he sent out Gyarados though. Why would he send out Gyarados? It knows Earthquake, yes, yeah, but Lightning's much stronger than that. This Thunderbolt should easily cure Gyarados of its HP. If that made any sense. Anyway, Gyarados is down. Two down. And now I'm just gonna stick with Tsunami for this one. Just because Wish Cash. Wish Cash. No Earthquake. And notice that the champion has six Pokemon while the Elite Four all have five. So he's a step up from them. Now I'm gonna use Solar Beam, a move I haven't used yet. And that Earthquake definitely can't. It can't take out Tsunami unless it's a critical hit. And just look at that, one third of its damage. Luckily, Tsunami's fast. And outbeats Wish Cash and Speed. And. Ah. Oh, a little bit left. Now that's just terrible. And this is gonna take down Tsunami, but the good part is that. Because he is Hyper Beam, he can't use a full restore. Full restore. So that's great. And now I'm just gonna send out. Sandstorm because I think Sandstorm can take this. I mean, there's no battle right here. He's recharging. So I'm just going to use Dragon Breath and finish Wish Cash off. And that's it for Wish Cash. Or Wish Cash. And now Tentacruel. And actually, I'm already at the right Pokemon. That was really convenient. Because I don't have to switch out. Sandstorm's Earthquake can easily take care of this. And this will deal a lot of damage to that Tentacruel. Just look at its size. Very, very menacing and evil. And it's a one hit KO! Which is amazing. Just pure amazing. Sandstorm levels up, but that's not really necessary right now. I'm not gonna switch out just because I wanna deal the most damage I can to my loading before Wallace switches out again. This earthquake should deal a fair amount of damage. I know my loading is very strong, and it gets very annoying if it eases. Toxic and then it starts healing itself. It gets very very annoying and of course Sandstorm can't survive nice beam. Milotic also has very high base stats in special attack. So that's why Sandstorm couldn't survive unfortunately. I'm just gonna go with the light screen because I really don't want a surf coming at me And then this recover will get very Very, 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 very annoying. Thunderbolt doesn't even do half damage. That's how strong my Lodic special defense is. Of course, Lightning is eight levels weaker, but even still, it should have, it should have done at least half damage. Now I'm just going to use Thunder because I want a par paralysis. I want this to go down. Okay, to recover, so that's all this battle is gonna be, huh? We'll see about that, Wallace. We will see. And more thunder. I'm just gonna barrage it with thunder. That's it. Thunder, thunder, and then more thunder. Luckily it's paralyzed, so that's a good good indication that we're gonna win. Uh oh, it's not a good indication we're going to win. 
I hate Citrus Bear. I can go with an accurate Thunderbolt or a Reckless Thunder. I will go with Thunder because I want to take that annoying Milotic down. Now Milotic didn't take down Lightning first. Lightning just beat three of Wallace's six Pokemon. While Flygon beat the other one. And it looks like... And Flygon beat the other one. Sandstorm beat two. While Lightning beat three. And now it looks like Inferno's chance to win. Inferno can take this and win. Just look at that Aerial Ace. It already did more than half. And there's no point of using Double Team. One Aerial Ace from Inferno means death to the opponent. That's it. That was a champion battle. That was really, really easy. It wasn't that easy, but I expected a much more challenge. And the champion with the cape falls in defeat. Looks like we dance more elegantly. Okay, and then that's it. Our journey's all over now. We are the new, ch and here's May coming in late, as usual. Of course, it's already over. Yep, we don't need to worry. Of course, we don't need to worry. And we've become the champion. Okay, and I didn't catch many Pokemon, embarrassingly, as you can see. Got 24 Pokemon, much of that which was evolved, so that's sort of embarrassing. And we're going to go through the Hall of Fame. And May is angry and jealous, maybe. Anyway, this is the Hall of Fame. Here's where the League Champions are honored. Time to heal. And here's my team. Pokey Guide HD's Hall of Fame team. Lightning, level 51. Sandstorm, level 51. Aeroblade, level 41. Inferno, level 58. Tsunami, level 41. And finally, Iron Claw, level 44. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. And we just became the league champion. It looks like that's it. But don't leave yet. Don't leave. That's right, I said don't leave. We are going to do all the side quests after. That's right, I said all of them. We're going to do almost... No, we're just going to do all of them. Yeah, we're just going to do all of them that we can. We're going to do all of the side quests and stay tuned for the after game. We'll do many, th we'll do many things like capture the Reggie Steel, Reggie Rock, and Reggie Ice. And we'll explore the end of the abandoned ship. And we'll get introduced to the ball battle frontier. Scott the Creeper finally will come in useful once in the game. And that's about it for this last, last episode, last part, last section. You can see the credits rolling. And here's May. Then you have to race to keep up. And you can see what's funny. <laughs> Is that your Pokemon in your Pokedex come up on the credits? So you can see that in my credits, you can see the same Pokemon over and over again because I didn't, I caught 24, which is a very sorry amount. I never would have caught that low amount if it was an actual game. But stay tuned, we are gonna complete the after game and explore parts that you haven't seen before. 
we will go to every single place that, I, that is basically in Emerald. Including Mirage Island. But we have to get lucky for that first. Anyway, we are going to go everywhere. So stay tuned for the after game. Don't leave. There's much more to go. This has been a great journey. Thank you everyone for supporting me. It's been really helpful and it's been really kind. You guys are the reason why I make this walkthroughs and that's all. I make these walkthroughs. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time.